<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel um, here at Crypto Nation. Um, I just want to start off by saying thank y'all to, to my um, new subscribers. I finally hit my target. It was my next target of 700. I'm actually at 705 right now. So I actually got about 10 or 11 new subscribers overnight. So thanks once again to all my new recently subscribers. And if you're new here, if you like the content, go ahead and um, subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications because it, it is totally free um, of charge. And um, if you've already been here, uh, you know, you already know what the drill is. Anyways, let's get right on to it. Yeah, so Jasmine Corn, we pumped. Um, we pumped all the way up to 0 0.0074. That was our new high, 0 0.0074. And like I said, I already knew that it can do it. I've seen Jasmine Corn go from 0 0.0055 all the way up until the early 80s before, because I've been, you know, in Jasmine, talking about Jasmine for over a year now. So I've really tracked it and watched it, and I know what it's capable of. So yeah, um, I, I could, I'll, I could see it if, if Bitcoin and Ethereum just keep its levels up, especially if we can see Bitcoin possibly pump up to like, um, let's say 35K at that level, um, using a rule of thumb, if Bitcoin is at 35K, I'm assuming Jasmine Coin can easily get up into like the 80s, 90s, and I wouldn't put it behind me. I can see Jasmine Coin finally hit, getting back to one cent like it was over about a year ago. I can see Jasmine Coin getting back up to about one cent and then possibly even running up to two cents, you know. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, um, you know, now there's maybe a couple of YouTubers now all of a sudden want to talk about Jasmine coin. They wasn't talking about Jasmine about a year ago. Now they see what, you know, what, you know, what this thing can do. And I was looking on Coinbase at other altcoins. Jasmine coin is outperforming all other altcoins that, that I see. Maybe, maybe there's maybe one other altcoin that's, um, you know, that's kind of, you know, pumping like Jasmine coin is. But from what I see right now, Jasmine coin is, is number one right now on Coinbase. Other YouTubers ain't really talking about it. I probably some is talking about it. We went up, we went up about 13% overnight. So, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not surprised. I already know what it can do. You know, I've been already, you know, talking about this project for over, you know, a year and there are some great things going on. Uh, as far as the, uh, when you talk about utility, this is one of the best utility coins projects out there. You're talking about the internet of things, um, edge computing, you know, decentralizing, you know, your data, you know, decentralizing data, and stuff like that, keeping your information private. Then on top of that, I think Jasmine's gonna be doing other things. Like I said before, Japan, China, they're going all in. China, Japan, they um they went ahead and you know um unlocked the chains. And like and I talked about in previous videos, the, the circulating supply is at what right now we're at about 40 46 point five billion or forty seven billion. I might have to go back to check on Coinbase. But all together, we're gonna to go up to 51 billion. There's gonna be about, about a 51 billion circulating supply. But the key is, what you wanna know is that even other YouTubers, you know, people who start to talk about it, they don't, maybe they don't know that 35 billion of that circulating supply will be locked in eventually. Those institutions and possibly maybe J J J both Japan and China, 35 billion is gonna get locked in to institutions. And then what, and then, you do the math from there, what's gonna to happen to Jasmine's price. You know, you guys go ahead and do the math. So yeah, guys. <laughs> um, and a couple of people asked me, you know, where should I buy it in Jasmine? I, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you to buy, hold or sell. But I'll just say that anything under one cent, anything under one cent, if you're not in Jasmine already, anything under one cent is a, is a good buy. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys now, the price where is at now, um, I've been I've been dollar cost averaging and on Jasmine at Jasmine for over a year. Then I like I said, a lot of you guys know I've already hit my target of coins that I wanted, which was five hundred K. I don't know. If if I get a chance, I'm thinking about even throwing some more money in Jasmine just because it, anything else that I buy in Jasmine is for me it's just gonna be extra. But I already hit my talk my target goal that I really wanted was five hundred K tokens. But so anything else that I put in there, that's for that's just all that's just icing on the cake or whatever. That's just extra at this point. Um, but yeah, um, there's going to be a lot of good things happening. And, and, um, another thing is, and, um, another major question is, you know, some people has been asking, you know, where should we start taking profit at it? Now that's a very hard course. And even for me, it's hard. Now I, the price of five to seven cents, five to seven cents, I call that the golden price because at that price at, you know, between four to seven cents. A lot of us are already going to be starting making life changing money. I don't, everybody financial situation is different, but once when it hits that golden price of four to seven cents 
at that point, for me, that's going to be life changing money. I can't speak for nobody else. And I'm assuming once we finally get up there, there, there could be a pullback. But we at that time, we got to see what the market, what the market conditions are. And once we hit that that target of like four to seven cents, we don't know what the market is going to do, whether we're going to see a, a big pullback or at that point. We could it could just keep pumping. It could just pump all the way up the uh, do a fast pump to ten cents. But you know we got to see what the it depends what the market conditions are looking at at that time. If it looks like Bitcoin is probably going to do a pullback at that price, yeah. Uh, me personally, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and sell and wait for a pullback and obviously buy right back into Jasmine because at that point, by then I'll be at over a million tokens by then. Probably by then, at those prices, if if, if Jasmine Coin pumped to like let's say five cents. I sell, and then let's say it pulls back to like two cents. I sell, then buy back in. At that point, I have a couple of million Jasmine tokens, and at that point, I'll be on my way to becoming a, a millionaire already. You know, that's it. You know, you, you just want to take that in, into perspective. You know, not financial advice. I obviously can't tell you to buy, hold, or sell, but I only can tell you what I'll probably do. But like I said before, that, you know, at, by the time Jasmine does get hit the, you know, the price between like four to seven cents. You know, we, we got to see what 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 the market conditions are. If it looks like Bitcoin is is going to do a pullback, maybe it's a little bit overbought. Then, yeah, I mean, personally, I'm going to sell and wait for a pullback and then buy back in. Or it, 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 Jasmine Coin, once they hit those prices, it could just keep going. It could just keep going at that price. You know what I mean? So we really got to pay attention to Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, once when Jasmine Coin does hit that price, you know. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to uh, bring up. You know, the market could be heading back down at that point, or at that point, it could just be going parabolic. It could just pump up to like 10 cents. But yeah, that's what my take is. You know, um, um, I'm also, you know, you know, like to hear other people's opinions of what they think. Some people's not selling at all, regardless. They're like, they're just going to hold until they hit that, whatever that target of like 50 cents, you know, during our crypto bull run. Some people's not going to sell at all. They're just going to ride it out, whether the market pulls back or not. They're just going to hold their Jasmine, just ride it out until it at least hit like 40 to 50 cents. And, and I, I totally understand them because, <laughs> you know, the, it, the market can be unpredictable. You know, you can, you, you know, even me, that'll be hard, you know, to sell my position. And then next thing you know, if the market keep pumping, then I'm at that point, I'll really be kicking myself in the ass. Then I sold now I'm going to hurry and try to buy back in because the market is pumping. And at that point, you know, you're kind of getting priced out. You still can make, you know, make a lot of money, obviously, but you could have made a lot more money if you didn't sell. But it, it, that's, a, that's a hard one. But like I said, it, it depends what the market conditions are. But, yeah, guys, um, you know, thanks again. Um, you know, all new subscribers hit, finally hit it. Um, I started my channel about a year ago. And... About the same time when I started to buy in Jasmine, I looked at it. I, I like what I saw. I read the project, and then and then come to find out, the next crypto bull run will be a utility run. So I chose good when I chose Jasmine. Um, a lot of YouTubers are not telling you this, but I'm telling you guys, you know, keep your eyes open and pay attention. This next crypto bull run will be a utility based run. So make sure it's a crypto project that that's going to be a real use case study. Whether you're in Cardano, whether you're in XRP. XLM, all, you know, the ISO 222. Um, there's other good projects out there. You got some smart contracts, the Web3. Web it's a lot of great stuff that's going to be happening in the whole crypto community, you know, over this next year. It's going to be a lot of good stuff. You know, it's going to be a lot of money made. And I'm, I'm just so glad I'm going to be part of it. You know, I just want to say that. I'm so glad I'm going to be, I'm, you know, we're part of history right now. We're living in a good, in a good time. You know, the, there's a saying, never be on the wrong side of history. We're, we're going to be on the right side of history. On this one, I know I am. We are on the right side of history. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. See you guys, and you know, in the next one. Thanks again. You know, helping me hit hit my target of um, you know 700 subs. You know, like I said, I started my channel about a year ago, literally with like two or three subscribers, and I just started grinding, started vlogging, talking about crypto because I have a you know a passion for this. You know, I just really, I just want to spread the word. You know, because a lot of people here in the U.S. still don't know about crypto. They don't know how it works. Even me, there was a time when I didn't know about crypto until I learned, you know. But, yeah. Um, um, yeah, so Saturday. Uh, so, you know, you know, cloudy, cloudy day. Here. Yep. That's my view right there. I'm here in uh, Seattle, Washington. That's my... Um, 
right over there you see the uh the stadium the t-mobile stadium whether that's where the mariners uh no the mariners play at safeco at uh, safeco field but the you know the seahawks they play over at the um over at the um t-mobile stadium but yeah that's a little you know view i have uh but yeah guys hey uh you know for uh for tuning in and i will um See you guys in the next one. Hope everybody have a good Saturday. Take care.